Coming up on TNN today, we take a look at Tesoro football, exchange a few words with our very own Mr. Patterson, and watch the Tesoro halftime show. So stay tuned. Always a pleasure to be locked in the smile of Jacob Roy. And Noah Schuster. And your 2013 homecoming queen is Shauna Stricker! Good morning to Sora and welcome to TNN. I'm Kathan. I'm Colette. And I'm Faith. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey Tesoro, have you subscribed to our personal YouTube channel yet? All you need to do is go onto YouTube and type in the Tesoro Titans News Network in the search bar to watch all of our past episodes and catch up on the latest news at Tesoro. Did you know October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month? Well, it is, and the Fight Like a Girl Club is having a meeting on Tuesday, October 22nd in Mrs. Clark's room to talk more about how Tesoro Titans can have a direct impact on the fight against breast and ovarian cancer. Speaking of impact, our very own Tesoro Impact will be haunting Tesoro's 300 hallway from 5 to 7 p.m. tonight. It's $3 per person, so if you don't mind crying from fear and self-pity, come out and be prepared to have the time of your life. Erica caught up with Mr. Patterson to talk about how the first month at Tesoro is going. Let's take a look. I'm Erica in Mr. Patterson's room reporting for TNN, and I'm here talking to Mr. Patterson himself. And I was just wondering, how do you feel you're finishing up your first month here at Tesoro? How are you liking our school so far? Oh, it has been so much fun. I mean, the students, the staff, um, it's just been a, a dream come true. The homecoming last week was just a sight to see. Um, everybody is just so enthusiastic and so excited. Um, I, you know, one of the things that we've enjoyed the most, even though you know I know that not everybody enjoys it, but um, you know, Mr. Rim, Mr. Hatcher, Mr. Mocknick, Miss Reed, and myself, you know, are out and about in classrooms. And I know it's been kind of a shock for people that we're out there and about, but you know, the way that we look at it is, it's kind of like being out on the football field or the baseball field or in the play that um, all the action is happening in the classroom, and that's where we want to be. And um, so if you see us out in the classroom or you see us sitting down or out on the field, you know, please say hi, invite us in. We want to be able to interact with you, but we also don't want to interrupt the instruction. But you know, it's just been so much fun seeing all the great things that are going on in all of the classrooms and being a part of it. And I know people are kind of nervous and, and, and shocked and shy and, and whatnot, but you know, we're just out there to see all the great things that the kids are doing and the, the teachers are doing and the staff is doing. So it's just been a wonderful month. That's great. So you guys make sure you're not nervous when anyone comes around. They're only here to, to watch us and see how we're doing. So in Mr. Patterson's room, I'm Erica reporting for TNN. Wow, what a great guy, you guys. 
Well, that's all I have for my portion of current events. Now over to Colette for the rest. Our world... Our World War II homecoming was one of the best we've had in Tesoro history. If you're dying to relive some of the weekend's highlights, here's a video to refresh your memory. not to turn up too much tonight because the PSATs are this Saturday. Check-in time is 7.45, so don't be late, you sleepy titans. Hey seniors, the senior ad early bird deadline is October 31st. The form is on the Tesoro homepage, so hop on it and send out those embarrassing childhood photographs. For those into the fight against cancer, there is an American Cancer Society meeting today during lunch in, the, in room 510. Feel the need to buy some eco-fabulous bags for your beach and picnic outings? Now you can get some. Pep Squad is selling these bags of all shapes and sizes as part of their mixed bag fundraiser. A whopping 40% goes towards helping our school compete. Want to open the yearbook in 30 years and see yourself? Download the Ultra Sleek app, replay it, and go to our school's website, create an account using the password Titan14, and start uploading your photos. Can't wait to see all of the all of Tesoro Titans, bleh, all of Tesoro's Titans taking some classy selfies. Do you love being out on the football field in 85 degree weather with a thousand of your closest classmates? Well, lucky you! Yesterday we had our first fire drill of the year. Erica caught up with some ASB personnel to see how things went. I'm Erica on the football field reporting for TNN, and I'm here with Lauren, Taylor, and Blake talking about this fire drill. So, Lauren, what is the point of this fire drill? To keep all the students here at DeSoro High School safe. And that's very important for our school. And, Taylor, how long do you think these fire drills normally take? Uh, roughly around 32 to 33 minutes. They're very specific. Thank you for that. And, Blake, since you guys are a part of ASB and you put all this together, how do you prepare for such a big thing like this? Well, fire drills are actually our number one thing that we do in ASB. Um, it's super important, so we start planning all the way um, last year just for this day, um, and it's just super exciting to see the success that we've had today, um, I know. Well, it's very organized, and we thank you guys for doing all this and putting all this together, so make sure you guys pay close attention and stay in your lines next fire drill. And on the football field, I'm Erica reporting for TNN. I don't know about you guys, but I felt super safe last night. I did as well. Yeah, nice, nice sense of security. That's all I have for my portion of current events. Now over to Faith with sports. Thanks, Colette. Let's start off sports with a recap of last week's football game. Smeltzer back to return for the Titans with a solid 35-yard return. Sets up the Titans for some great field position to open up the game. Monster out of the pistol here, throws to the sideline, and that's the first of many completions for that sophomore quarterback. Chris Reck now dragged down by the Titan defense. Monster once again to the sideline, and it's caught for the first down by Rivera. Monster once again finds a receiver over the middle, and that's good for a Titan first down. Titans out of the eye, and Rivera punches it in for a Titan touchdown. Once again over the middle, the pass caught, and the Titans are in scoring position. Mustangs Tommy Kelly back to pass, but the Titan defense there to haul him down. Kuzipoli back to punt for the Mustangs. Tristan Confence is able to cut back to the inside, take the ball to midfield, and put the Titans in Tribuco territory to open up this drive. Monster out of the pistol once again. Looks to the sideline to pass, and it's complete. 
and they are having a trouble stopping him here tonight. Monster looking to pass, pass completed, and a nice move's gonna gain the Titans some extra yardage. Perfectly thrown ball. Titan receiver able to get his feet down, and that's another completion. Kelly back to pass over the middle, and the Tribuco receiver is hammered by the Titan defense. Monster on the keeper. Breaks to the outside, able to shake a tackle. Cut back inside for the Titan first down across midfield. Sophomore quarterback here able to fight off the face mask and the tackler. Complete the pass to Yanishin for an amazing Titan first down. Monster back to throw once again. He's going to keep it. Cut back to the middle. Brady Davis would later score on this drive after a solid run by McQuaid. Titans will win here at homecoming 37 to 34 in a thriller. Titans, if you plan on joining our superb track and field team this spring, you should join the off-season conditioning program. It's going on right now, so hustle over to the track and get in shape early. For more information, contact Coach Miranda. Comedy Sports had a game on Wednesday and won, obviously. If you didn't go, check out what you missed. Hi, Tesoro. I'm Sandy reporting for TNN here in the theater right after our comedy sports match with Christian, Darcy, and Erica talking about what just happened right now. So you guys just had a match, and how did that go, and who was it against? Well, it went great. First of all, we won. Second of all, it was hilarious. And third of all, we played Mission. Awesome. And how did you guys prepare for this match tonight? Lots of practice, lots of teamwork, uh, lots of trust, and... Uh, Basically just going over the games over and over again until we had them perfect. Awesome, and you guys did win tonight, but if you could do anything different to maybe improve a little bit, what would you do? Uh, you know, I think it would make everybody on the team wear a mustache. That seems good. Yeah, I do too. All right, well, make sure that you tell them congratulations when you see them tomorrow. I'm Sandy in Titan Theater, reporting for TNN. Boys Water Polo has a game next Tuesday at home against Mission, so be there. Our boys had a game to remember last week against Tribuco and came out on top. Cha-Cha caught up with some of our players. Let's take a look. Hi, this is Francesca reporting for TNN in front of the Titan Stadium, here with our very own Michael Mackesy to talk about last week's game. So, Mac, how did you feel during last week's game? Um, it was an exciting game, and we were glad to come out with a win. We just had to stick together like we usually do. Very cool. Did you expect to win last week? Um, yeah, we go into every game pretty confident in ourselves. That's great. And how do you think tonight's outcome is going to be? Um, hopefully the same. We've prepared pretty well this week, and we have confidence in ourselves and our coaches. And can you tell everyone who you're playing again? Um, tonight at 7 at home versus El Toro. All right, great. Well, you heard it here first. Come out and support your Titans. It's a pink out, so be here at 7 to support your Titan boys. From the football stadium with Mac, this is Francesca reporting for TNN. Don't forget Titan Army, there's a home game tonight against El Toro. It's a pink out for breast cancer awareness, so make sure to represent. That's all I have for sports, now we're to cape in with the rest. Well that's all we have for you on TNN Today, your one and only source for Titan news. Have a fantastic Friday Tesoro and thanks for watching TNN.